Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Edu Life. And today we have a very special episode. We'll be covering fall convocation. So let's catch up with Chad and Serena. Well, they'll be interviewing Dean Fern Snart as well as a couple of the graduates. So welcome back. Right now we are at 2013 Convocation at the U of A. We have the Dean of the Faculty of Education, Dr. Fern Snart. And my first question to her is going to be, looking back at your own graduation, what are some words of wisdom for our graduating class this year? Thank you. I, I think at anyone's convocation, the, there's an overwhelming excitement. I certainly recall that. And it's an excitement, I think, for our graduates that's born of the fact that uh, they know that they have one of the top education degrees in the country. So they know that they are ready to walk out of here and into um, a profession either as a, a classroom teacher or sometimes walking into a profession in government or even the RCMP or policing. But I think they have a sense that they're ready. Um, and for me, the, the words of wisdom, if that's what they, if that's what they might be, are that um, take that readiness and open the door. Just go through. You know you can have confidence in who you are and in what you've learned. Um, and take it to a place that you will love working every day and that that enjoyment of what you're doing will, will show and will make you good at it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And I'm going to move on to Chad. All right. So specific to this, uh, this convocation, it's the 10th anniversary of the Aboriginal Teacher Education Program, and that's something you've worked really hard for. So I was wondering if you could quickly say what that means to you and uh, what you want for that program in the future. Thank you. Um, ATEP was a program that I was involved in right at its inception when we were very unsure of what the program should be. So we essentially got into a van and drove to northern communities. People welcomed us. We asked what was needed, how we could help. And I think the overwhelming answer was that for um, northern Aboriginal communities, what they really need is Aboriginal teachers who will stay, who will understand the learning needs, and for whom um, the younger children can look uh, as, as models, uh, to whom they can look as models. So, 10 years out, we've got hundreds of, of teachers um, in those communities. We have students finishing high school, doing better, wanting to continue and, and just having confidence and pride in who they are. So for a number of reasons, we've got success story and I'm thrilled. So now we have Emmerine who is graduating for a Master's of Education from the Faculty of Education. So Emmerine, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Um, my first question is, um, how does it feel to graduate from the U of A and get your master's degree in education? It's extremely exciting, a little bit surreal. It's my second degree from the U of A and I'm just ecstatic right now. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And how do you feel as a parent seeing your daughter up there graduating? I'm extremely proud of her. Very, very proud of her. <laughs> Thank you. Well, congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm here with Calvin DeHan, a recent uh, graduate. What program were you in, Calvin? Uh, secondary ed. Uh, so, what did you study? I studied English and social studies. It's been a few months, sorry. <laughs> uh, cool, so a couple words, now that you graduated, now that you've convocated, what are you feeling? Uh, pretty good, yeah, it's kind of surreal. It took, me, it took me about seven years to finish, so it's been a long time. <laughs> hey, it's uh, better, better long than not done, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so, what's next for you? Uh, I actually got a job teaching, so I've been doing that for a couple months now, so that's what I'm doing right now. I took a day off. So One of the few. Yeah, I know, I know. Where are you at? Uh, it's a private Christian school in Edmonton called Parkland Emanuel. So. That's great. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us and good luck. Cool. Yeah, thank you. So now we have Lorraine. She is graduating from the Faculty of Education as well. Congratulations, Lorraine. Thanks. And um, my question is, how does it feel to graduate? You're done. How does it feel? Um, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. <laughs> I know the work has already started, but uh, this is new to me, uh, graduating here at the U of A, totally different than what I'm 
familiar with. And do you want to describe your outfit for me? It looks beautiful. This is um, the outfit I wore when I got married to my husband. And I had said if I ever uh, finish a degree of some sort, I'd wear it there too. So uh, that's I'm just uh, doing what I had planned to do. Well, your family must be ecstatic. Well, Karan, congratulations to you again. That is wonderful. Thank you very much. And now we've got Alpha here. And Alpha, how does it feel to graduate from the U of A with a Faculty of Ed degree? Uh, it's, it's overwhelming. It um, just feels so great. And to have Sarah McLaughlin be here and sing was just topped it off. It was amazing. Definitely. Sarah McLaughlin is definitely an inspirational figure. What's next for you? Uh, continue teaching. Um, and I'm looking into a master's degree, but I don't know, maybe we'll wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, studying is done for now, right? Yes. yes. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm here with Jaina Prusco. What did you study, Jaina? Uh, secondary education. So now that you've convocated, you've graduated, uh, two words. Uh, nervous, excited. Uh, what do you think is next for you? Um, hopefully I can get a job. I have to go back to my hometown of Drayton Valley to start subbing in the new year, but I'm excited and anxious. It's a new chapter, I guess, and see where it takes me. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. Now I'm here with Wayne. What did you study, Wayne? Uh, Masters of Education. Uh, specifically, what did you do? Uh, technology and Education. So I focused on, my research was on um, incidental learning and virtual worlds for students. That's really interesting. That's something we talked about a couple weeks back, actually. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, so. One word to describe, now that you've graduated, you've convocated, you've walked across the stage, you didn't fall? No, no I didn't fall. Alright, so now that we got all that done, uh, one word to describe how you're feeling right now. Uh, relieved. It's, it's over. <laughs> Definitely. So what's next for you, Wayne? Um, I'm actually hoping to move to Korea and teach there for a little bit. Do some, just take some time away from home and away from academics, teach kids, and then maybe come back and start a career and pay those student loans. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. So from myself and everyone here at EduLife, I want to congratulate all our graduates on their tremendous endeavors and thank you for the wonderful interviews you guys have given us. From everyone at the U of A, we wish you the best of luck in your endeavors and may you have the best success in life.